Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for us to do a little exploration of alternative camping solutions. Tent camping with a pavilion, a pop-up pavilion, and actually camping in shelters provided by the campground. Before we get into the meat of that though, I think, I think we need to go down here and take a look at that fishing dock. So let's go. Good morning from Huntsville State Park. Oh, it's so beautiful. The lake is about four feet low though. Chaos is content. <laughs> if you think about that, most of your really high view YouTube channels either either they have women taking showers, not gonna see me taking a shower, or chaos. I'm hoping that this chaos, the chaos that has come to call, is going to lead to lots of views. I'm currently set up at, at Huntsville State Park in the Sam Houston National Forest. Beautiful Texas State Park. If you've never been here, you should come. I actually have a couple of videos. Uh, if you go to the playlist down there and go to Texas State Parks or just search Huntsville State Park, you'll find what I, I've, the content I've produced about this beautiful Texas State Park. <laughs> this video is not about the state park. This video is about different camping styles. Now normally, if you follow the channel, I, you know I travel around in a, in a big Super C motor home. Uh, she's having some retrofit done. And it has taken way more time than was initially quoted. And that, the, the whole journey started out with me get, turning the RV over to the dealership to have a new floor put in. And it was, they said it was gonna take three days. Uh, so I'm headed out east to Sam Rayburn Reservoir to, to document all of the campgrounds there, planning on sleeping in a tent, but the weather turned dicey and I found myself camping in a screen shelter. And that is something that I've never done. And, and it always, and on the videos, I always talk about how cool it'd be to, to, to camp in a, in a shelter. And I, when I arrived at my first camp, campground, bad storms were coming. I, I didn't want to pitch a tent and be stuck in the tent. They had four screen shelters available. Uh, so I took advantage of that. It was the first time. And, but it, so we're gonna jump cut to that and I'm gonna let you experience that. And then we're gonna to go to the next campground because they told me that it was gonna take way more time than they quoted. 
and I didn't want to drive all the way back to North Texas only to turn around and come back down here. So I went and found another campsite. Still, uh, inclement weather forecast. And so I had to, I, I stopped by the, the dealership and pulled some stuff out of Trudy Thunder, the motor home, and went to the next campground and, and created my own shelter for the weather. And boy, I'm glad I did because it rained for two days straight. And then I moved over here to Huntsville State Park to another screen shelter. And so this, this is, uh, I know this is a long-winded way to tell you we're gonna we're gonna explore two screen shelters and a, a tent shelter that I created, uh, and just give you a, a different perspective on camping than I normally present. So let's go check out the first screen shelter at Twin Dykes Campground, and from there we'll go check out the. Nails Creek Unit State Park campsite and shelter that I set up there. And I will check in back here. And then we'll go see what I've the setup that I have here. I'm giving you a full perspective of the three different camps I've had on this so far two week journey. It'll be two weeks by the time I'm I'm by the time I get Trudy back, it'll be a, two weeks on the road. Today I find myself at Twin Dykes Campground on Lake, on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Lake Sam Rayburn, Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Deep in the East Texas Piney Woods, the big thicket area. It's 92 degrees and it's 100% humidity. It was pouring rain when I arrived. I was originally scheduled to be in site number four right over there and pitching a tent when i got here and it was pouring rain i thought there must be a better option sure enough there he is there's four screen shelters here with a covered picnic table outside and man you, you could even put an rv in here 30 amp and sewer how cool is that they all four of these are full connection RV sites and the pad is looks to be pretty level. I just wish I had Trudy Thunder. I wouldn't have had to move in. But let me give you a tour. Because I didn't I didn't pitch a tent. It's supposed to be supposed to be raining like this for the next 24 hours. So, what fine accommodations are these? Well, there's no sink in here. There is a counter. There's two plugs. So I can, I brought the... Oh, while I'm on the, while I'm thinking about it, today's episode of Dude RV is sponsored by, we've got two sponsors for today's video. Martin, you remember the Martin Camp Stove? <laughs> I love it. And New Air. Refri portable refrigeration system. Thanks, and I guess we could throw amp root into that as well. If it wasn't for those companies, I would not be here. At least not comfortable. So you'll notice I've got this uh, thing. I did create a tent, and that's because I brought the big portable air conditioner. because it's really humid. And when it's really humid, you need cool, dry air. So that's what I've set, I've set up a uh, cooling zone. Got the air mattress. Air mattress and an air conditioner. What more could a boy ask for? <laughs> I got everything I need to camp in comfort and style no matter what the weather does because the weather's supposed to go really bad again right now we've got sun shining but there's stuff coming in off the gulf of mexico welcome to dude rv hey i really appreciate you stopping by and you got here on a hot day it's september 2nd 22 
The last time we spoke, I was hanging out over at, where was I? Uh, that big lake in East Texas, in the big thicket. We were exploring all the Corps of Engineer campgrounds over there. Camped out at Twin Dykes, sleeping in a, sh in a screen shelter. Well, I have moved. I got the, the dealership called me and said, uh, we can't do this in three days. We need more. I didn't want to drive all the way back to North Texas, and so I jumped online to see if I could find a campground campsite over Labor Day weekend. I thought it was a futile task. But Shazam, I found, I got a site. I reserved it for five days. I'm in a Texas state park. Lake Somerville State Park, Nail Creek Unit. If I had some horses, I'd have a place to put them. This is actually a really nice site. It would be a great place to park Trudy Thunder. There's been a lot of, there, but there've been some changes at Nails Creek since I was last here. This is site number 36. Before I share it with you, <laughs> I stopped by the RV and picked up some additional equipment because we've got moisture, waves of rain coming in off the Gulf Coast this weekend for the next foreseeable week. And that's a great thing because this part of Texas is in a bad, bad drought. So camping in a tent with weather coming in off the Gulf, I decided I was gonna need a, a little something extra because that my campsite didn't have, which was a shelter from the rain. And so I picked up the, the pop-up shelter now the site, the pad on this site is, in this campsite, is super level. I wish I had Trudy, because she'd be rock solid. It has the corral, or actually a, a twin paddock. A fire ring. And a picnic table. It's water and electric. Very nice asphalt pad. And we are 30 amp. <laughs> There's some shade. So that's west. Here in a little while, we'll have a little shade. Of course, I, I see rain clouds on the horizon, so we're not going to have to worry about shade. So you, re you ready to see the, the, the dude RV domicile, the temporary domicile? All right. So I took my tarps and the Coleman pop-up shelter and I, you know, that, that other people have done this before and I've actually, they actually sell panels that go into these pop-up shelters. It works out, worked out great because boy, it was raining last night and I discovered that uh, some of, I have some leaks, the fabric, because it's been stored so much, the fabric was kind of, uh, porous this is fantastic stuff one can coated three quarters of the of that roof that's some good stuff Walmart you can actually buy it on Amazon but it's available at Walmart I bought the last two cans so what I did was, that was different than what most people is I come, I, I wanted more shade for the tent, so the air conditioner, because remember, I have an air conditioner with me, and that air conditioner, 800 BTU, works better if there's shade. And so, <laughs> I got a hybrid shelter going, and the moving blanket that was my rug at the last place is now the shade and insulator. Let's go inside and check it out. So three tarps, and I had to put a weight on my door because the wind keeps blowing it open. Little kitchen area, little workstation. The fan helps circulate the drier air. So this is not going to ever be a cool space 
what I'm after is less humidity, a little little drier air, and with the fan circulating the drier air, it's just it's much better because it's so humid right now. Humidity is like 80, 85, 90 percent. It's just sticky, and the temperature is like 90 degrees. So you walk out and you're just drenched. In the tent. Ah, it's so cool in here. That little air conditioner is pumping it out. It actually, I've got it set at 69 degrees, and it was turning off last night. Because it got, it got that cool in here. Got the, uh, the, the, uh, the new air refrigerator working great. I love that product. That thing is rock solid. You know, the only thing I don't like about it is I gotta if if so if there's something I want it's at the bottom I gotta unload the whole thing. But that's that's the way it is with any chest freezer. So an air mattress, a nightstand for the CPAP. I suspend the CPAP hose that in the with the rope. My toiletries and we're done. I put down the, the Texas flag rug because I knew it was going to be muddy. I wanted the high, this is the higher spot, which is why I'm not in the shade. This is, this is better. Hold on. This is the better location. There's shade over there, but there's also water that runs through there. And I don't, I don't want to be camp. I, wanna, I don't want to be the person camping in the stream because I didn't look at the ground. All right, that's that's the dude RV temporary domicile. Y'all want to see where I'm camping? All right, let's go. This is shelter number 15, Huntsville State Park. Still no motorhome. Hopefully I'm gonna have word today that we're getting her back. But I chose this in anticipation of having Trudy, so this Pretty big, we're gonna be, front wheels are probably gonna come off the ground when we hit level. I don't know, we'll see. It is a 50 amp RV site, double wide, and we have a screen shelter. And this screen shelter has by far been the best best place to sleep on this journey there's a, a lamp the ubiquitous lantern hook fire pit slash charcoal cooker or coal cooker outside picnic table and then i think it's a 12 by 20 shelter with a table inside I have mixed feelings about the table versus the, the counter. As you can see, I've got it set up with a, a little kitchen area. 
on the desk the the workspace living room oh it's dark hold on there we go now this is the bedroom and it's way more bedroom than i need for my my one twin size bed and, and it's very camouflaged so you feel like you're camping in the woods <laughs> a little air conditioner does not cool this space nearly as much as it has the last two campsites but it's enough most importantly it dries out the air we'll go back to the living room Now the one, and, and this is actually a really big, big difference. The one really big difference between here and Twin Dykes is they've added the clips so that I didn't have to, I didn't have to use my own clamps. They don't want you using staples or hooks or tape or anything like that. Uh, and so they've added these clips. To hold tarps that made it made it very handy there's two layers of screen some of the no seam screen has got holes in it and you don't really realize how dirty this screening is until it gets dark and you turn off the light and you realize that wow that needs to be pressure cleaned um yeah it's it's I, I arrived here yesterday afternoon i was just wiped i was too tired to even pick up the camera but this is this is the screen shelter at huntsville state park and it's practically empty the park there's about eight campers over here and then there's the full connection loop is at about 70 percent capacity and there's there's a couple of tent campers and, and there's like three people in shelters that brings us to the end of our our little short video here uh, about tent camping and shelter camping inclement weather camping without an rv dude rv with with just the f-150 rv i sure appreciate you coming along on this if you're still with me at this point thank you so much for that if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you I, i'm i'm most honored and for my patrons, I'm so grateful. Thank you. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?